Bright blue sky, the colors so intense. The sun is a burning, flaring ball, shooting blinding prisms. Let's say we do go to the West Coast one day. We pack our bags, get in our trucks, and just drive. And we would buy a shack in the middle of nowhere. And we can grow our own food and veggies, be self-sufficient on the edge of the Indian Ocean. I think of this moment as they're coming together and finally realizing that what they have is unique. And it doesn't matter what the rest of the world thinks. For them, this is it, you know? Just the two of us? Mm -hmm. And we can grow fat on seafood, make babies. Chubby leg babies. <laughs> I love that. This moment, they just have found so much comfort within themselves, and they have created this own little world. And I think throughout the scene, you, you start realizing that for the first time, I think for Dylan and maybe for Alice, they're thinking about a future, you know? And that future with someone else. Because before, I feel like both characters were kind of trying to fend for themselves, and now they're talking about family. Before, Alice was a kid, and she kind of was born into all these things that were happening. But now she's older, and she gets to choose, and she's choosing a family. She's choosing him, and he's choosing her. And I think it's what makes it like such a beautiful scene. It's a little bit crazy to see how from something so lovely and passionate, um, everything can change in a couple of scenes, in a couple of uh, moments that go by. Because finally, you start living their relationship and their life on a day-to-day -day basis and to see what are the real truths both of them are hiding.